Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Windows 11 24H2 firewall login errors, the saga continues. And this has been quite an up and down process where, as I posted, first of all, Microsoft confirmed that a new upcoming feature for Windows 11 24H2 was causing firewall errors. And then as I posted a couple of days later, Microsoft had mentioned and confirmed that Windows 11 24H2's July Patch Tuesday had fixed the firewall login errors. I'll leave both those videos linked down below and in the end screen for what it's worth. Now, just a quick recap for the purpose of this video, just to get us all on the same page. What the original problem was, according to Microsoft, is that following the installation of the June 2025 non-security preview update, which is KB5060829, security event logs might include an error event related to Windows Firewall with advanced security which according to Microsoft, although the errors were appearing, they could safely be ignored. Check those other videos out for more info. Now, just on a quick side note, on the channel, we have been talking about Microsoft's communication issues. And in regards to this, Microsoft has updated the known issue for if error events are logged to Windows Firewall on its known issues health dashboard page. To say now, in regards to communication, that, note, this disclosure was mistakenly updated to resolve status on July 8. A resolution for this issue is planned to be included in an update to be released in the coming weeks. We apologize for any inconvenience or confusion. So once again, in true Microsoft fashion, not too good with that communication as we have been talking about. Because even after I posted that the errors had been resolved, I still saw comments on the channel that users were saying, not to be, it was still generating the errors. So just posting this quick video to get us all on the same page, that if you are still seeing those errors regarding the firewall, that it's a Microsoft communication issue, you're not alone. And Microsoft does say that it's working on a resolution and will provide an update in an upcoming release. And obviously when that happens, I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. And hopefully when that does happen, and Microsoft would have then fixed the issue 100%. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.